It is so pretty today. I love this weather. It is super nice and super warm. And AJ has just been enjoying the, the breeze. I can't believe it's this warm right now. Say hello. We're getting ready to make a video, a review on his baby bottle. Hello. Mm -hmm. Who is that? <laughs> Hi, AJ. Hi. Mommy loves that baby. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. How are you? Look at that smile. Hi. Yes, I know all about it. Hi. Hello, how is that baby today? He's good. All right. It's getting about nap time, ain't it? Hello. It's an awful happy baby. Happy baby. So sweet. And then the rest is going to eat and rip it. So the girls came in from school and they brought all their Valentine candy in. So Valentine's. sweet. I you love so Valentine's, much. huh? <laughs> Say hi. 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 Who's that? And um, I am over here busy doing laundry and just hanging out. The baby's asleep right over there. And we are just enjoying Valentine's. This is for my fun boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Yeah. Oh, I love this. I love that too. That's cool. I don't like it. It's my favorite. Look at all that yummy candy. I can have so much candy. I know. I have so much candy too. So many people give me so much candy. And what's it? I feel like. Super nice. I feel what's like whoever it? gave me this, they want me to have so much chocolate. And I like the ring. And I it's like pretty. I'm going to put the bags away. Good morning everybody, it is Saturday and we have snow, yay! So I had to get out to run some errands and um, let me turn down the radio. Ryan's dad is coming over for dinner tonight and I'm going to make a big pot of chili. AJ's a little fussy in the back if you guys can hear him. I really didn't want to get out in the snow today but it's just something I really need to do. So I'm just going to pick up a couple things at the store. Um, I had a couple other errands that were pretty important I had to get done. And I'm happy to be on the last thing right now, which is the grocery store. So we made it into Myers, and while I am running around shopping and just grabbing a few things, Ryan is texting me his list as I go through. So I've been having to double back and pick up his things. He wants some bottled Dr. Pepper's. AJ is just like chilling down in his car seat. He's so precious. I'm telling you, I've been just kissing all day long. Now I need like the sheet of crescent dough. It's going to be a little long too because it's the sheet. Gotta find it. So. Hey everybody, I'm back from the store. It has quit snowing, um, but it's still rather chilly out. So, as I said, we are having Ryan's dad over for dinner and maybe um, Ryan's friend Nate, his old friend Nate, I guess. Um, so what I decided to make, it wasn't on the menu plan in the last shopping haul, is a big pot of meaty chili. Now, I'm very picky about chili. I like a lot of meat in it. Like, if I go out to dinner, or even like at the Waffle House, I would always ask for an extra hamburger patty to be cooked up to put in the chili. So I bought a lot of hamburger. This is for two recipes, but I'm, I'm using one whole side and half of it for the chili. And then, let's see what else I got. I got some peanut butter, in case we want peanut butter sandwiches. I think I'm making a grilled cheese, though, with it. I got two cans of the Bush's Mild Chili Beans. I got three cans of these delicious boiled peanuts. 
love them and um, I thought they'd be a great snack in the afternoon tomorrow. Let's see. So I got some cheese. This is for a different recipe. I got some strawberry and kiwis. Just as something kind of fresh to serve up. I got two different kinds of cheese. The Fontana and the Gouda. These are great cheeses for grilled cheese. And I'm going to make a grilled cheese tonight for everybody with this brioche bread. So I got this big loaf of brioche, which is a sweeter bread. It should be delicious. I got a red pepper for the chili. I got some chili powder. I wanted some tomatoes, so I got some tomatoes. An onion. I actually got two onions. Here's three. Well, I don't know where the other one is. I got some coffee. This is a Javiva, um Guatemala coarse ground for the French press. I haven't tried this one before. I have tried a couple other coarse ground coffees, but not that one yet. I got a big can of diced tomatoes for the chili. Fresh tomatoes for the chili. Some Dijon mustard that I also put in the chili. There's my third can of boiled peanuts. And then... I got some um, caparelli. Capitelli? I don't know how to say that right. Some pasta for the... I thought it was actually elbow, but... Um, I got that for the chili. Ryan asked for some strudels, so I got him these toasted strudels. He likes those. He usually eats them at night, not in the morning. I got some crackers and some olive oil. So that's what I needed. And we also got some Dr. Pepper. Oh, and I also got... I got a small dessert for tonight. This is the Tuxedo Truffle Mousse Bar Cake. And it's not very big, see? It's perfect. And um, it's perfect for just like three or four of us. We don't have the teenagers tonight. And I just didn't want to buy anything really big. So that's what I got. I'm going to get busy putting this away and making some chili. So I'm starting to get the groceries put away, and um, this one is the Costa Rica blend, and it's a rich, never bitter, medium bodied coffee, has a roast on the darker side of medium, which allows the delicate fruit and citrus undertones to shine through. This one, the Guatemala, right, it says... It's a medium bodied coffee with a depth of complexity of earth, smoky notes, and a hint of cocoa. So, I don't know. I thought that sounded good. I read all of them. And I love that they are um, a medium ground because it's perfect for the French press. And I've been using that more than the tea bags. It makes a better pot of coffee, the, the coffee bags. But I do like the other ones for convenience. But I've been using the French press here lately. And this is perfect and perfect for the French press. So, love it. I'll let you guys know um, how that is. Like, maybe tomorrow. Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. So, I just got out of Kroger's. I had to pick up some diapers. I should have done it yesterday. Um, but I didn't. And um, I got a package of wipes. Some uh, the Crescent Sheet that is going to go on top of something we're having for dinner tonight. Now I'm running just a couple more errands before picking up at Jackson. And so I should be um, home in just a few minutes actually. I'm not going to be out and about that long. I'm just running into the Dollar Tree and um, that should be about it. So I hope you guys are having a great day and you had a good morning. I hope you're following along on Instagram. You can follow me on Insta Stories. And I've been posting a lot more there, so definitely check that out and follow along. Speak. 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 This is Mako, everybody. This is my ex-husband's dog, Brittany and Jackson's. Hi. Hi, Mako. We're waiting on Jackson. He just got out of the shower and he's getting dressed. Hi. What are you doing? He's old as Cooper. I think, actually, you're older than what Cooper was. Hello, it's a yellow lab. There he goes. And here he comes. We are having some boiled peanuts as a snack and putting our peanut shells here. Yum, yum, yum. These are so good. Hey, everybody. So, right now, Ryan is 
watching the end of the NASCAR race and I am putting away laundry. I should have put this laundry away days ago, but instead I put it in our bedroom and we started getting stuff out of the laundry basket and it just destroyed all the folding, all the separate little piles I had it in. So I'm going to work on that. But I thought while I did, I would talk to you guys just for a couple minutes um, about what went on with Brittany and her school and the threat and, you know, everything. So, obviously, everybody's on high alert after the big mass shooting in Florida. And it's just one of the scariest things ever to have kids in school. And I'm not really going to get off on a real big tangent on any of this because it's, it's just heartbreaking. But, um, Friday at her school, well, I guess on Thursday there started, there's messages on social media started showing up about a young gentleman, um, a young guy that was going to shoot up the school and all of this. And so, um, nothing I think at that point was done about it, but... On Friday, um, maybe it was Thursday. I think it was Thursday. I'm sorry. I might have my days wrong. I'd have to look. It's Thursday or Friday. And um, the kids were in school. More threats was made on social media. And Brittany is driving to school now. So she decided that she was going to sign herself out um, and sign her brother out. Well, the school was going to let her sign herself out. But she wasn't going to be able to sign out Jackson. And that just sent me into a panic right there. Because, um, you know, they wouldn't let Jackson leave with her. We couldn't really find Jackson. School was going crazy. They were not answering their phones. The, Brittany said the office was full of kids trying to sign out. But um, the staff was just like running around in circles, writing names on paper. I tried calling numerous times, and then I called my ex-husband, and thankfully, he jumped right in the car, he took off to the school, and he got Brittany and Jackson out of there. After that, in the evening hours, the, the guy was arrested. So, they took it really serious, which I appreciate, um, and I'm sure every parent appreciates, but... It's just, it's just so scary, and it's, it's, drives me insane, and so, you know, it just, it's heartbreaking, and it's scary, and I think at this point, all schools need metal detectors. If we are required to send our children to school, which we are, I mean, we can obviously homeschool, but if we're still sending them to public school, then I think it's the school's responsibility to make sure they're safe, and... I just, I'm just like heartbroken so badly over it. Um, yeah, it was really a scary moment because for a minute I couldn't get a hold of Brittany and Jackson doesn't have a phone. So it was, you know, just worrying about both of them. And in that moment, it was still pretty early in the day. Jackson, um, I mean, uh, AJ was, I was just changing him and just had, got him a bottle made so I was trying to prop up his bottle so I can run around and get dressed really quick and get him um, some clothes and head out like it's a lot harder to jump in the car now with, with the baby here I can't just like run out that easy and so um, while I was scrambling around I'm so thankful that Art um, jumped in the car and went and took care of things so that just made me very, very happy, and um, I felt good that the kids were um, home and safe, which is really sad. It shouldn't be like that. Um, I mean, it should be. They should be safe and happy, but they shouldn't have to come home from school. It should be, it should be different, and um, you know, in all honesty, it might sound kind of weird, but. We've had lots of talks with our kids about um, what happens if a shooter comes in. What do you do? Different things that we would say. I even told Brittany at one time, 
you know, if you have to rub blood on yourself, if, if there's a shooting, lay there and play dead. Do whatever you have to do to survive. One of the things we didn't talk about, which is strange, I guess because she wasn't driving then, but I, I don't think it really matters, is fleeing, just going. And like with all the threats, she certainly wasn't staying there. And I really applaud her for trying to get Jackson. That meant a lot to me. Um, I'm just, I'm just wanting all the kids in our family to be safe and, you know, get a good education and not feel scared to be at school. So that was that. Um, the boy has been caught and like I said, he is, um, in jail. So I feel a little bit better about it now, but still. It's still such a scary thing. Also, I have a new cooking vlog coming up on Wednesday. So, I'm trying to shoot for Wednesday being the day I post stuff about food. Either it's a haul, it's a recipe, it's a cook with me kind of video, it's a daily meals, kitchen diary, kitchen or food diary it's all of that and so um once i've been working hard just recording some meals and um that will be up on wednesday so i'm excited that that will be there look at this by the way isn't this it's aj's one of his little hoodies this is a just a just one new carter's little hoodie isn't that adorable so sweet um, but yeah, I'm working hard on that and, um, I have other videos coming up. I'm going to do some organizational videos as well. I haven't done any organizational videos in this apartment. Part of me felt silly. I felt like my life was so full. I also, you know, have a pretty busy schedule with running around the teenagers, doctor's appointments, dentist appointments. Um, cheer and Jackson works at a lot of baseball games and I just don't have a lot of time but I'm doing a lot better on that and I just felt I felt it was silly to worry about how the cans were stacked in the cabinet or how my towels were lined up in the linen closet um, but as I go on, I do feel like we need some organizational things in this apartment because we're clearly outgrowing it. And we don't have a lot of um, space. By the way, a lot of people have asked, and I've never said it, so you know the blankets the hospital gives you when you have a baby? It's these. Um, obviously, they're bigger. But... I didn't like those blankets. I thought they were stiff and I just didn't like them and they needed to be washed and softened and I refused to use them. I used my own swaddle blankets. So what Ryan suggested was just cutting these up and using them for burp cloths or cleaning cloths. And oh my god, they've been such a wonderful burp cloth. It's insane how many of these we have, how many we use, and it doesn't matter if um, we end up throwing one away. Um, we came home with a lot of these blankets. Now, you could sew them. This one's starting to ravel. I don't really care. Um, you could sew them, but we came home with a lot of blankets. We have a lot of these rags. I use them for, I have them in separate piles. I use, um, some for AJ and Bird Cloths, and they work so, so good. I have a big pile of those, and then I have another pile in the kitchen that I use just to clean up. So, I think they're great. I really do, and I didn't like those towels, but I certainly like them as just little rags around the house and little burp rags for him. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to work on the YouTube schedule. I'm getting better about it. At least I'm vlogging now, and I'm trying to share more. I have a giveaway going on for the Fuel Baby Bottle, and if you haven't seen the review, definitely check it out um, and get entered. You need to tag a couple friends on my Instagram post and follow Fuel Baby on Instagram. 
and we will pick the winner on Friday. So definitely do that. They will mail it directly to you. And um, yeah, it's a very handy bottle. But anyway, I just wanted to get on here and talk to you guys for a couple of minutes. I know I'm not always in front of the camera. I, you know, I looked horrible earlier when I was running to the store. And I did find the Crescent, um, the Crescent, what is it? Sheet. The Crescent Sheet. I couldn't find it at Myers, and I did find it at Kroger's, so, um, I'm using that in a recipe tonight, and, um, um, I plan on sharing that recipe with you on Wednesday, so, I'm doing better, I promise, I'm trying, trying to, to get the videos that you guys like the most up, and so, you can always let me know what videos you want to see, there's another little burp rag, um, you can always let me know the videos you want to see in the comments below. If you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear from you. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Ryan, um, is here. He is in the living room. We are going to spend the evening together. I just picked up Jackson a little bit ago, but his friends and him wanted to go get a snack. And, again, that's really weird, too. I'm not used to Jackson going out and hanging out with his friends. And, you know, it's been... Honestly, and this is the truth, with all three teenagers, Brittany, Jackson, and Mackenzie, it's been a rough year. They are giving us our rent for our money. And I'm not going to, like, divulge all the little issues we've had with each individual child, but on the whole, they have just, like, exhausted all of us from, you know, me and my ex-husband and Ryan and Angie. It's just been, like, it's just been, like, a lot this past year with our kids. And I think it's just them coming into their own, thinking they know it all, um, and wanting to try things their way. And while it sounds fun, it's really worrisome for the parents, and it's also worrisome, you know, in terms of, are they getting their homework done, and half the time that's no, and, um, is Brittany wearing her seatbelt, or, you know, is she not making sure she's not drinking, which is something else that I'm scared of. Like, you know, it is, it is 2018, and kids do a lot of things sooner now than what they used to, so it just, it just scares me, and, um, we're just trying to get them through it. That's what we're trying to do, all of us together, at one time. So, it's supposed to be beautiful tomorrow, so I'm skipping working on laundry tonight besides putting all this away, and it's a lot. Um, I'm skipping laundry besides this, and I'm definitely getting this job done no matter what before um, I go to bed, but I'm steadily working on it. But I'm not going to um, do laundry because tomorrow here... I'm in southern Indiana. It is supposed to be in the 70s and on Tuesday. And so if any of you know what my life is like, I have a little washer that is for an apartment. And I wash my clothes and hang them up. I don't dry anything. Nothing goes in the dryer. And I would if I had a dryer, but it's, it's worked out completely fine. So obviously on a beautiful sunny day, I want to put the clothes out. They'll dry a lot quicker. I'm hoping to get the, the bedding washed tomorrow as well. I'll probably wash that first. Um, and then move on into our like weekly clothes and stuff like that. And I probably got three or four loads um, to wash. So I, I made the mistake of not emptying this laundry basket um, when it was done. And all week we kind of lived through it. And, just destroyed it, so it's best that I get it put up so we don't have to worry about it. And I've just been picking up the house. I think also I'm going to do some clean with me videos. I think you guys enjoyed those when I did those before. I'm in an apartment, but who cares? Um, we were actually talking today about, like, when are we going to move? Are we going to move? How are we going to keep doing this with all these kids and not so much space? So we're talking about it. We're trying to get something figure it out it's it's a big deal you know and um yeah so laundry tomorrow i 
I missed AJ's two month appointment um, simply because the little kids that for Laura that I watch um, were here and I wasn't able to get to it. It was in the afternoon and I scheduled that appointment before I started watching her children. So I gotta reschedule that tomorrow. I have some computer work I need to do tomorrow and some phone calls I need to make. But hopefully it will be a nice day with AJ at home and maybe we can get out on the patio a little bit or take a walk. Um, you know, he's just two months old, so there's not a whole lot he can do. He's actually two and a half months and he's almost three months. But um, it's not a whole lot he can do, but just getting him out into some fresh air is always nice too. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to work on this for a little bit longer and I am going to make some dinner. So that's what's going on around here. So, we just are getting ready to eat dinner. I thought I would share it with you really quick. We are having a cheeseburger casserole with a crescent roll topped casserole. It's so good. And french fries, green beans, and fruit. And I will show you how to make this on Wednesday with a new What's Cooking video. So we are just finishing up with dinner. I just wanted to share this casserole with you. We tore it up. It was a big hit. It <coughs> really good, and I just wanted you guys to know it. Um, it tastes like a McDonald's cheese. <laughs> He's crazy. And so um, oh, we really God. enjoyed dinner, and you should try this. I'll link the recipe it's good. in that um, video I'm going to post on Wednesday. Yeah, see that shadow right there? It's a teenage boy looking for his chest up. That closet is crazy. And so he is cleaning it out a little bit to help me for it, which I'm very grateful for. Hopefully he finds it. In the meantime, I'm going to turn off the Olympics and turn on Victoria, which is one of my favorite shows on Sunday. So the boys are playing chess while I watch Victoria. Jackson loves chess. Ryan's really good at it. And it really does get quite interesting around here on chess night. Isn't this adorable elephant? So cute. This is AJ's um, Valentine gift. Right now we just been propping it up right back here. And that's where he's been living. He's so cute. We just thought it would be the perfect gift for a two month old. So AJ has a ton of shampoos, bubble baths, lotions. This is the Johnson's Head to Be Baby Wash. We use this a lot during the daytime, as well as what Ryan likes to call the pink stink. It smells so good. And then this is his bath, bath time, bubble bath, and lotion. And then back here are the Baby Organics um, Organic Soap and Body Wash, the nighttime one, and the lotion. We do um, use them all. This one is our least favorite because it smells like an avocado. But we use them all and I really love the smell of the, the purple ones with the lavender. It's my favorite. So I am going to take a bath. It's been a long night. Um, um, Jackson lost the rainbow and it took forever to find it. Over two hours so I'm just like exhausted from that. I need to move AJ's bathtub out of our tub. We just keep it here for convenience. It's fine. It's usually flipped over, but I'm going to get that out. I'm going to start running the water and get in a very hot bath and then get my butt to bed. I'm tired and my back's been hurting and I'm just ready. So that is what's going on. So I am getting ready to go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I'm going to watch right there, Homeland Season 7, Episode 2, to go to sleep. I'm so excited. The house is quiet. Kenzie is asleep. Jackson's asleep. Ryan is right here. You can't really see him. The baby is right here. Kind of hard to see him. But I'm going to finish editing my vlog. And I'm going to get some rest. I'm going to get up and take Ryan to work early in the morning and hopefully I'll get this uploaded sometime pretty early as well. But I'm just going to save it tonight 
get some rest and get busy with a lot of other things I want to do and videos I want to record and it's supposed to be a beautiful day tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm going to open all of the windows. So anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this vlog. Please don't forget to get subscribed. If you're new to my channel, hit that little bell to notify you of new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram and I will see you very, very soon. Good night.